love is my love and my love is your love. How about Lady Google, Daddy Baker? I'll tell her that's why you want to sing ya. Do well, I'm Boma Seva. I hope you guys are good. This week we are in the Mercedes Benz A35 AMG. Oh, boom, 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 boom. Just pipes. It's just cutting some of pipes this whole week, man. Like, boom, ooh, boom, 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 boom. even in comfort. <laughs> So we're gonna do the outside and the inside, but welcome If you're new here, I hope you guys enjoy Please do subscribe, comment, like, super thanks, do all the things And if you're returning, welcome back And yeah Oh, I'm gonna one like you so for the purposes of this review guys just a bit of a disclaimer my mics have let me down something's wrong with my adapter for the mics to connect to my phone um so i'll have to just do it like this i really do a pull oh okay <laughs> i really do apologize for that <laughs> i really do apologize for that um, but I hope we can get this review done properly and then yeah, okay. This first part the acceleration um, the Mercedes-Benz A35 AMG, right? Um, the outside yo, I think it's a very beautiful car. I think it looks the part. It looks so beautiful um, This red this 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 red hue that it's finished in with all the black accents And I think you guys can remember that the A35 is always the baby AMG so it never looked as distinct and as aggressive as a full-blown AMG like the 45, the A45. So it always looked a bit mundane. Same like the C43 compared to C63. Always looked a bit mundane, blended in traffic. But this commands a lot of presence. People are looking at this thing, looking at the wheels, the 19-inch, this five-spoke rim. It's so beautiful. I mean... I think the exterior is just absolutely stunning. AMG badging almost everywhere. The grill is beautiful. Um, it's nice, guys. It's a nice car to, to look at. It's a nice car to be in. Um, and I think in terms of exterior, it commands a lot of presence. Um, it has grown up a lot from the previous A35. And I think um, even in the sedan, guys, uh, guys, like sedan, not guys, sedan, guys, I think it works very, very, very well. And I think it's very beautiful. You even have a bootlet spoiler there absolutely stunning on the exterior now moving on to the interior of the mercedes-benz uh, a35 amg i actually think one of this is one of the nicest interiors of a performance car it's very functional i always say performance cars don't need a million and one screens you don't need too much that you would get in a normal everyday sedan or a normal everyday hatchback because here's for function here time to play is is like is we are performancing it out you know we need to make sure that everything is within reach everything is easy to use you know so in terms of the interior it's very well laid out i do prefer this interior over that big screen that you find in a c-class and a glc i think that's fine for those kind of cars it's fine for the normal everyday passenger cars when it comes to performance this layout absolutely does it for me you have the flat bottom steering wheel that i find to be really nice you know um the center console is also quite nice, very spacious, cup holders, you know, there's a wireless charging bay also. The one thing that is hacking me is this little middle thing. There used to be a touchpad in the older models, if I if I remember correctly. A touchpad that you can use here on by, by your arm when you rest your arm to operate your infotainment system. Now that thing is gone, it's just this hollow thing. Is this like an ashtray? Or what I don't know what's going on in terms of that here yeah. but anyway <laughs> and um, I, I, that's the only thing that I'm just like whatever you have electric seats and memory seats you have heated seats and cooled seats guys um, you have this black roof lining a panoramic sunroof you have these red home wrecker seat belts you have all these seats with Alcantara and red stitching so it's very performancey on the inside um, I think it looks the absolute part you know the quality in here is actually very good for me there's not that creaking of plastics that I always complained about it works actually in here it's quite quiet and I think that this is actually a very solid interior and I think I'd take this um, over some other products um, under Mercedes-Benz you know and I think just as a vehicle it's, it's, it's the inside is just a something it's a place you want to be let's get into the drive of the mercedes-benz a-class what is it powered by this vehicle is powered by a two liter turbo petrol engine that produces 
225 kilowatts and 400 newton meters of torque which i think is a very potent power plant it's really good whether you're in comfort whether you're in sport plus you can have the time of your life in this car it's actually very nice to drive on a daily obviously we'll get into the verdict a bit later but i think in terms of when you start it even at home corre it's also uh, because like when you start it i'm just like uh, so obviously the exhaust note is absolutely great uh it sounds really really good moving to sport plus you obviously get a bit of a firmer suspension more dynamics um but in any way i haven't done i haven't done like crazy drive i've just been highway driving i've done this car on track and i've done this car on a launch where i've put it to its limits and i think it performs very well so i'll have to give it its flowers uh, my colleague did say that he experienced a bit of turbo lag which i didn't really feel i feel like everything is mated very well gear changes are quite prompt if you you move into manual i think you'll have a better driving experience when you use the paddle shifters behind the steering wheel that's when you have a bit more control um and you can just rev it to as high as you want but you must understand guys in performance catch is pop is a liter so when you are revving your car your range is going down so each pop is a liter of fuel just be aware of that you know so yeah i mean i'm just taking off from a robot and it's just really 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 potent and nice to drive so in terms of the, 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 the car and the power plant, I think it's a, it's a commendable. So yeah, let's move on to the verdict. What do I think of the Mercedes-Benz AMG A35 sedan or Mercedes-Benz A35 AMG sedan, whatever, however it should be said. <laughs> I think this car is great. I think this car deserves its flowers. And I think this car is great for people who don't want a full-blown AMG experience and want something that they can also daily. It's like BMW's 340, M340i. M340i is a lot more powerful than this. I think that's 285 kilowatts. But that is the perfect daily in my eyes. That's a perfect daily performance sedan. Um, so the M340 is absolutely faultless. I cannot, I cannot even say anything wrong about that car. And I think this is the answer to the A35. I, I mean the A45, sorry. The A45 pushes out about 310 kilowatts. So that is a lot of power already. So I think this is perfect on a daily. We can't even compare to RS3. I think S3 plays a bit better here. RS3 was 294 kilowatts. Uh, S3 is 218, I think. So yeah, I think in that segment, you have a lot of options in terms of the performance sedan and the performance car segment. You have a lot of options. Um, so I really do think that this one deserves its flowers and I think it's a great car. Do I think it's worth buying? Personally for me, unfortunately not and i think you guys are probably like how oh, about why because i've been singing its praises it's great and all whatever but that exhaust note isn't as nice as something like a golf 8r's exhaust note i'm sorry and i think with and the pricing for this car just to digress a bit the pricing for this car they are asking for a million rand base with all this extras to get it like this you're looking at paying 1.2 million so that's a, a golf 8r is a million rand so you'll come back with a little bit of money, some spare change, right? But I think the Golf 8R makes more sense. I've driven the 8R on the N2 to now. I've driven the 8R uh, to Bela Bela. I've, I've, I've spent some considerable, so considerable amount of time with it. And I think in terms of the way that is, that is the better buy. The only reason I don't like the 8R is the way it looks. It looks too softened up from a 7.5 and the 7. Um, so in terms of looks, aesthetics, the fact that Benz, 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 I'd get this just for the aesthetics. But in terms of performance and playing and having my fun at that price point, I'm going to go with the Golf. Unfortunately, I'm going to go with the Golf. Also, um, but the Golf suffers the same fate. These touch haptic um, things on these touch buttons on the steering wheel irk me because I love conventional buttons. 8R has the same one. So there's no better devil, basically. I think it boils down to preference. When it comes to performance cars, it all boils down to preference. <laughs> I think it all boils down to preference. And yeah, I think that would be my verdict. The A35 is great. The sedan version is great. Boot space, amazing. Rear leg room for the occupants, amazing. My friends fit in here quite well. It was a great car to experience, especially the fact that I managed to experience it with people. Um, 
makes it even this review even more better you know so it's only the few little things that i don't like these touch haptic buttons kind of like daze me a bit um and yeah but it's a great car it's not even like the suspension is not too firm you know you get performance cars where you try to drive them on a daily but because so you understand but this is actually really nice on a daily i'm just like i personally think 8r makes more sense i that's just me 8r just yeah but what's nice about this one commands road presence people look at it it's a nice car it's a nice daily i think it would be great for families also because kids can fit in here it's a sedan boot space is amazing so in that aspect i'll give it its flowers and i'll rate it so my ultimate verdict of the mercedes-benz uh, a35 amg sedan beautifully crafted vehicle could be a little bit better in terms of the ergonomic not could be a little bit better sorry i take that back just a few things i don't like the steering but the steering touch haptic thing going on it's not a big fan of that and there's a bit of road noise coming in and i attribute it to the tires but on a daily as a drive it's nice it's comfortable noise insulation is great um and yeah but i think out of overall we can give it a proper eight out of ten and so. that is it from me Boma Seven. thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe once again i do apologize about my mics the next review we're gonna get back into it uh, it's been a bit of a crazy week it was my birthday week um i wasn't even supposed to even get this car so the, the initial mercedes i was booked something um it was not uh, correct so they gave me this one instead so shout out to mercedes benz for that but don't worry next review the little shop in terms of the mics and the sound so i do apologize for that now but yeah guys do let me know what are you getting for 1.2 million are you getting this are you getting the 8r are you getting an audi s3 are you getting maybe something used are you getting maybe an m340 a used one are you getting a 7.5 with acra pipes don't forget the acra pipes but yeah <laughs> comment down below which performance car you would get for the 1.2 1.2 anyway it's a monday but yeah uh, let me know what you would get for the 1.2 million rand mark. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching once again. Uh, guys. Uh, let me go Kalisa the pipes. I have no fuel. I have no money. Because each pop is a liter. It finished all my cash, this car. But you know, sometimes with the game, you are broke but happy. You understand? You are broke but happy. But yeah, it was it was really fun. Uh, yo, guys. Ah, I'm fine. I'm on to chain. You? you? Okay, I'm digressing. Love you guys so much. Bye, Buma 7.